happening everybody as you can see we are still in aruba three weeks later we were only supposed to be here for one week but we have decided to extend and i honestly don't know how long we're going to be here for we both work online so we can both continue to work we've been adjusting to the aruban pace which is a lot different from london life everything's very easy going um everything's very chilled we we've decided to stay and it's been a little adventure we've been moving around a lot from airbnb to airbnb and we're actually going to look at an airbnb right now <laughs> because we have to leave this gorgeous airbnb that we've only been at for a few days from a food shop. I love a good food shop. I don't know what it is. Who else loves a good food shop? As far as I'm aware, there's one big supermarket on the island. It's called Superfoods. That's where we just got back from. Okay, so I picked, I've got a papaya. When I'm in the heat, I want tropical fruits. I want papaya. I got a little mango. I've got some sweet potatoes. Grab loads of cherry tomatoes. I've just been feeling for my chili sardine spaghetti, which is incredible. It's in my ebook home cook wonders. So I might whip that up tonight. Also grabbed plantain, lots of plantain. If you guys follow Ramon over at RG Vegan Food, you know he is plantain king. The last week or so, I've made a couple of variations of my chickpea and aubergine curry which is so good. We've got some peppers, red peppers, green peppers, multicolored peppers. We always have lemons and limes on hand, mushrooms, um, spring onions, lots and lots of green beans. Either boil them or steam them, then just drizzle with olive oil, sea salt. If I have an oven, I like to cook the green beans with crushed garlic and dried herbs and drizzle over some olive oil. So simple, so delicious. Talking of herbs, some fresh herbs, I've got some basil, and I've got some coriander. In terms of greens, this week I'm gonna be working with broccoli. I'm not actually sure what this green is, but it's a local green from Aruba, so I just wanted to try it. Also picked up some arugula, and from the UK we call it rocket. So we picked up some sun-dried tomatoes. I tried this, it's like a feta roasted pepper dip thing, which I really loved last time. So one of my favorite things to do is just grab, throw lots of kind of colorful foods on a plate. And one extra addition, which I always love, are olives. I'm gonna put them in a bowl with some olive oil and some oregano. If you don't mind the strong, intense garlic taste that it probably will leave, you can mince some garlic and put that in and just let it sit for like 20, 30 minutes. My mum used to do it growing up. Shout outs to mum because you taught me everything I know. So we grabbed some pine nuts. My thing is pressure cooked chickpeas, but these are fine for now. I've got some tin chickpeas. So we've got like three or four tins of coconut milk because it's just a staple for us. I love sardines. I found these tin sardines in olive oil. We also found a little health food shop. They for sure have one in St. Lucia, so I think it's a thing in the Caribbean that they have. It's called Nature's Discount. I grabbed some MCT oil. I love just putting it in my tea in the morning. I grabbed some manuka honey. I just think honey is just one of the best foods ever. so good it smells so good I'm going to add some sardines to mine and I'm going to keep the sardines out for Ramon so it can easily be made uh, vegan if you if that's your thing if you want to filming yesterday but we had so much to pack up we literally just had a few hours in the evening to get our things and now we're at our new apartment which was about five minutes away it was like a quick little drive we've just been settling in this morning i've just made breakfast and we are heading out now we're heading to a place called trash trappy so i'm going to try and find some um snorkeling gear because i want to i want to go deep i want to go underwater <laughs> Look at that water, we're getting in. Do you wanna, should we get an ATV next time? So we just arrived at uh, Tre Trappy, Tres Trappy, and it is the most beautiful water that I have ever seen. It is so, so clear. Apparently you can usually see turtles. I'm gonna head in, not sure if Rams is, you guys know he doesn't really like water as much as I do.
the most perfect little cove that I've ever been to. The tiniest, tiniest little cove. When we were there, we found out that Tres Traffi means three steps in Spanish. I didn't see any turtles. I saw some little fish, but I didn't have my snorkeling gear. Next time, for sure, I'm gonna be prepared. Yeah, that's definitely like top on my list. If you visit Aruba, visit Tres Traffi. It's one of those little hidden gems, and I'm sure there are so many around the island. We've kind of only just touched the surface, but now that we have a car, we're able to just get around a lot easier. We were a little bit apprehensive about getting a car because here they drive on the right. In the UK, we're used to driving on the left, but Rams has just picked it up. We're heading just up the road, just a couple of minutes away to a place called Arashi Beach, to a beach called Arashi Beach. We're just gonna go and chill out there for the rest of the afternoon. So we've just arrived at Arashi Beach. Look at that water, beautiful. <laughs> We've just got to the lighthouse and we've actually found some coconuts for the first time in Aruba. We are back from our little escapades this afternoon. We're back from our little adventure. Today I've had so many moments, so many kind of long pauses of just silence and deep gratitude for how I'm able to start my new year. I just reached 200,000 on YouTube, which is insane. I remember exactly where I was at when I hit 100,000, like internally, I was just in a completely different space. I didn't see it as an achievement. I didn't see it as an accomplishment. But yeah, times have definitely shifted and changed. And I think moving forward in this year, I'm really all about kind of celebrating the small wins, even if they seem like the tiniest little thing. Big shout outs to this week's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is the most incredible online learning platform. Whatever your curiosities are, there is a class for you on Skillshare from business to design to film to photography. The most recent class that I took on Skillshare, which I would recommend to everybody, is called Silence and Curiosity, a guide to self-reflection and self-discovery by Stephanie Neen. Instantly, I was captivated by Stephanie, and in so many ways, I feel like her personal journey, I could really relate to it. So Stephanie, ever so gently, offers actionable steps in how one can achieve silence. It can allow you to create space in your mind for new ideas to come in and for old ideas to resurface, which I think is so unbelievably important. You remember having like something that you loved being a child and maybe it was ridiculed, maybe you just didn't feel like you were the best at it so you kind of gave up but it's something that kind of is within you, something that you actually want to explore. For me I have many things, things that I would definitely like to touch on and, and revisit. The first 1,000 people to click the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. After the free trial, Skillshare is around $10 a month. So yeah, we are gonna head out to our favorite restaurant on the island. It's called Yamanja. It's one of those consistent restaurants every time we go. We love it. It was in my last vlog, but I was very drunk. I was eating bread, that part. So bright, sun's still shining. The first people here. Hello, my friend. This is the bread and the butter. <laughs> So simple, but so good. You can make a cheese, french fries, and a double cheese. So we've got the vegan mac and cheese, which is, oh, we've got the blackened snapper with, this is like a pesto risotto. So we've just finished in Yumanja. It started pouring down with rain, so we had to come inside. But that meal was beautiful. 